Did you know that all geese hate you on a personal level? Welcome to the incredible truth and extensive history of nature's immortal mafia. Geese were created in the earliest days of the world, before history was recorded. An ancient and powerful Canadian wizard named Asararak made a pact with Asmodeus, the reigning lord of the Nine Hells. The terms of the pact changed the people of Canada forever. Only once every 100 years, a single Canadian could be truly evil. The rest were granted eternal kindness. But Asararak was deceived and suffered two terrible terms. Firstly, he was forced to become a truly evil being. Secondly, the nation's evil was concentrated into a newly formed race, geese. Born as a towering whirlwind of waterfowls, the fiends quickly cemented a reputation of ruthless and meticulous killers. They claimed territories with large concentrations of exploitable humans such as tour sites, colleges, or political strongholds. They then rapidly expand their numbers with invasive breeding until they outnumber the local predators, often being between 30 and 700 geese. The structure of most goose families somewhat resembles the American Mafia, the Yakuza, or certain wolf pack structures. They display this social structure during flight. At the front of the V format is the Big Boss, the presumed regional overlord. Behind are his left and right lieutenants, being the residing advisor and the second most influential leader. In larger regions, only the bosses are allowed to fly in this formation. During migration, the rest of the geese must walk in a military fashion and attack everything they encounter. As with most of nature's wonders, there are some misconceptions about geese that many of us have. For example, the fabled Tyrannosaurus rex were actually warlock-like geese who would collect and fuse together the power of their rivals and servants. It is rumored that some still exist today as the big bosses of larger regions. Sadly, no one who has seen a Giga Goose has lived to tell the tale. An even more rare breed of geese exists, known as the Golden Geese. A genetic concentration of hatred causes a goose to lay a golden egg, whose shell is actually coated thickly in an alkaloid-based neurotoxin. A hatched and fully grown Golden Goose shares this trait, and each of its feathers are saturated with a golden Batreca toxin. A goose's tongue and beak play host to a network of teeth, a trait they developed somehow through sheer force of will. These waterfowls have taken refuge near our homes in order to enforce a tax of available food. A human who refuses this tax for a long period of time can expect a mass of birds to cause a home quarantine until their demands are met. Geese do in fact mate for their entire lives, which can range anywhere from 30 to 200 years. During mating season, they will give birth to younger geese, known as Ryan Goslings. Many of them go on to star in romantic comedies or action films before returning to their roots. Observation records show that over the course of 20 years, a family of geese can multiply their numbers by 1,125%. If they continue this trend worldwide, we will soon enter a slave-like existence, where we work not to bring home the bread, but to bring them the bread.